Guys, check out my Patreon. I am posting every single day on my Patreon blog account thing. It's I'm using it as a blog and it's basically sneak peeks of certain moments in my military career that I think that you guys will find interesting. I really do. Check out my first blog post on Patreon and then check out my second one. Those are open to the public and you guys can just get a feel of what type of information I will be sharing with you all. If you're using your cell phone to look at my Patreon, scroll all the way down and you're gonna see the other blog posts, the two blog posts that I'm talking about. The rest of the blog posts are gonna be set to private because those are gonna be just for Patreon members, the people that support me. And all you need to do is be a basic member and you're gonna have, that's $1 a month and that's, you can see everything always on uh, Patreon, okay? So, Hey guys, this is Andre at the Andre Lifestyle. This is a lifestyle channel where I document and educate my audience on what I've experienced in the military, the health and fitness rules that I live by, the self-improvement books that I've read, and the travel destinations that I recommend. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with new great content every week. Hey guys, it's Andre at the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video topic is on haircuts during Coast Guard boot camp for the men and for the women. Now for men, you're gonna get your head shaven on probably the third day that you are there. And the best way to describe what the guys go through when they get their haircuts is that you guys, the whole company and males will be lined up outside the barber, like shop, whatever it is it's called. And you're going to be lined up like cattle, okay? That's the best way to describe what you feel in this moment because there's gonna be three seats in this room and once one guy is done with his haircut completely bald the next guy hops in and if you're one of the if you're like midway through the line I just remember thinking to myself here we go again because for those of you that don't know I went through this with the army and I got my head shaven uh, so and I look ridiculous so I was like midway in line and I remember the first few people that were coming out look completely different with a shaved head and they're coming out uh they're leaving the barber and once you once you're done with the barber shop you go back to the barracks and so he's i remember the first guy that exited i looked at him and i was like damn damn <laughs> i'm about to look like that in a few seconds i remember during coast guard boot camp uh i probably got a haircut maybe all together, including the, the first haircut, all together throughout Coast Guard boot camp like three times, that's it. Which really surprised me because in Army boot camp, we got a haircut every Sunday, I think. I think it was every week you got a haircut. Yeah, that was for the guys. Now for the girls, it's, it's, it's a little, it's a gray area for me, mainly because I'm not a girl, but I remember a lot of girls getting beat and if you don't know what getting beat means, getting beat means make you sweat. They make you perform exercises like push-ups and you know hold things out in front of you. Let me you're getting you're getting in trouble, right? And I remember females not being in the putting their hair in the right format and getting in trouble for it. So I what my understanding for females is that it needs to be in a bun in the center of your head. Like it needs to align to the to where your ears are, right? Right here to the top of your ear and it needs to be centered there. It can't be low, it can't be too high. You can't have, you know, a bun up here or anything. It needs to be centered. It has to be in a tight bun. All your hairs need to be completely tight. Everything's tight, tight. You need to, uh, they put something, the females put something in the hair to keep everything tight, I guess. Gel, I don't know. So yeah, you can't have hairs. The females can have hairs like wandering little, all those little baby hairs just, you know, wandering around. That's, that sums it all up. That's haircuts and, oh, one more thing for the guys. What was cool about Coast Guard Boot Camp, this is, this is what differed from Army Boot Camp as well, is that for graduation, they actually let you get some type of fade in Coast Guard Boot Camp. The last week that you're there, they, they ask, hey, if you want to get a haircut, you're allowed to get a fade if you want to. And of course, you know, 80% of the guys are like, Fuck yeah. I mean, we all look like we're all bald. We just look ridiculous. So, you know, our hair had grown out a little bit. So we got, I got a, like a nice little fade right here. You know what I mean? It's kind of like this, maybe a little bit shorter, minus the beard. I had a little bit of hair up here. I looked, I looked better. <laughs> I looked better than I did before. That's for sure. So yeah, guys, that sums up what haircuts are like in Coast Guard boot camp. All right, uh, if you guys like this video, please give this video a like, comment on this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to my channel for more great content every 
week. And as always, live the lifestyle that you want to live. Peace.